<clears throat> if you've got um, a kiddo or a person in your life and they're like, oh, and you'll ever say the words, oh my God, they're so needy. Um, have you ever thought, um, or like, oh my God, so attention seeking. <clears throat> have you ever thought, give them what they need, show them some attention? Because if somebody is needy, if you give them what they need, then the nervous system calms down. They don't, they're not in a kind of survival mode. And they won't feel, they won't feel like they need to tell you how needy they are. So, you know, that's just terminology that's made up for us, for people um, to say, oh, I don't, oh, that feels uncomfortable for me. Well, next time you come across somebody and you want to say, oh, they're so needy, oh, they're so attention seeking. Try seeing where that lies with you and maybe give them what they need or show them how they can get what they need. But let's not tarnish people with, oh, they're so oversensitive. Well, it's all it's all a state of perspective, isn't it? You know, um, you really need food if you haven't eaten for a month. You're going to really, you're going to be really like um, sensitive to loud noise if you've been in a darkened room for a month. You're going to be, you're going to be very sensitive to heat if you've got third degree burns all over your body. Like, you know, and just because those things are physical, um, if we've been starved of anything emotionally, we're going to have those needs that we're going to be always vying for. So they, oh, they're so oversensitive. That's, that's no such thing. They're just sensitive beyond what you feel comfortable with. And very highly sensitive people make other people feel uncomfortable. And so then they push it back and say, you're being too sensitive. Mm. No, they are just in response to where they've been all their life and they haven't had their needs met. Worth a thought. See you later.